hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is nilu and you're watching nilu stitches today tutorial i'll be learning how to cut a two bustier dress okay so i'm making a dress i'll be sharing with you also how i cut the skirt this is a dartless skirt so if you don't know how to cut a dartless skirt keep watching okay and if you're new to my channel please subscribe like and share this video so this video is going to be only just for the cutting the next i'm going to upload is going to be the sewing tutorial so here is a marginal line i cut i marked as my shoulder line from that point i'm going to mark 8.5 inches for my chest line and then 11 inches for my bust point 14 and a half for my under bust 17 for my waistline so i'm automatically drafting a bodice a basic bodice okay just for a guide and also for beginners among us okay so here is my bust line this is the under bust line and the next line here is my waist line this is my waist line okay so next i'm going to mark my shoulder my shoulder divide by two my shoulder is 16 16 divided by two will give me eight inches so i'm going to mark eight inches on the shoulder line here this point i'm going to mark my eight inches and i'll do the same thing on the chest line just to get a straight line for my armhole so this is also eight inches and then i'm going to mark my neck width of three inches this is to for a guide for my shoulder slope so i'll slant my shoulder by one inch and i'll connect that to the neck width so i'm not using any neck measurement here it's just for a guide okay so i'm going to mark take this line straight down to my chest line like this so next i'm going to mark my nipple to nipple divide by two my nipple is Eight divided by two is four inches so if you're drafting this directly on your fabric you are going to mark um, 4.5 okay 4.5 but if you are using a pattern paper like I'm doing you mark four inches so the letter you can add your half inch seam allowance okay so I mark that on the bust line on the under bust line and on the waistline so I'll connect like so so next I'm going to get the midpoint of this my shoulder line like this the midpoint here so in this case is um, 2.5 and from there I'll connect to the boss line like this so from this point I'm going to take it down to the boss line like so okay so next on the waistline I'm going to mark one one inches on both side of the dart leg okay I'm going to mark I'm going to take one one inches for my dart on the under bust and also on the waistline. So on the on the bust line, I'm just trying to label this so that you guys will not be confused. On the bust line, I'm going to come down by half an inch like this, and I'll go up by half an inch also to avoid pointiness on the bust area. So from this way on the bust line, I'll take it down straight to the waistline, the straight line like this. And then from the on the bust, I'm going to use my curve ruler, connect to the half inch I came down from the bust line like this. I'll connect this part also like so. So next, I'm going to get the distance between my bust to my on the bust the distance between my bust to my under bust like this so what i have here is 3.5 so i'm going to mark that upward from my bust line like this okay so i marked from my bust line and i'm going to mark that line straight like so so on that line i'm going to mark one one inch also for my dart like this okay one one inch and i'll connect that to the half inch i went up from the bust line with like this with a curve ruler so you can also use a straight um, ruler if you want but i think the curve ruler gives me a better shape than the straight ruler okay so you just blend this bust point area like so and voila we are done with the bust um 
cutting so here i'm going to mark how deep i want my sweetheart neck to be so from that line i went down by 1.5 inch so i'll connect to this first that leg like this so you can decide how deep you want yours to be okay so this is my sweetheart neck and here i'm going to get the midpoint of this shoulder and i'll go in by half an inch this is just to cover my shoulder i'll mark my bust divide by four here okay that's 9.75 and i'm going to connect my armhole like so okay so next i'm going to curve this other part okay so you can decide how you want to keep your um curve ruler okay so i want mine to be covered because this is a tube this is a tube so i'm not making a bustier with yoke so that is why i place my curve ruler like that okay so take note of how i connect that point so next i'm going to start taking all my measurements so i'll replace these two inches i cut i am i'm going to cut out from the dart here like this and on the waistline i'm going to mark my waist divide by four plus the two inches that i'm going to take out and i'm going to connect from the bust line down to the waistline like this okay so i'm done so next i'm going to be adding my sewing allowance but before then i'm going to connect all this line so that you guys will not be confused if you have any question anywhere just ask me on the comments below and i'll explain better okay so here i'm i'll be marking my allowance of 1.5 inches like this and i'm going to connect that with the straight ruler so no need of marking your um under bust measurement here you just use your waist measurement also on your under bust so instead of marking that day i decided to just take it on the waist and just take it down okay so now i'm going to cut this out If you have watched up to now please take a moment and like this video and if you need to my channel please subscribe if you have any question do wait to leave it on the comments below and I will answer you okay so just take note of how I am cutting this and after cutting this I'll be using the front panel to draft to cut the back panel okay so I'll just get another piece of paper for my back panel so this is what we have after cutting okay so here is my back panel pattern i've already marked out my zipper allowance of 1.5 inch so i'm going to place this center front like this on the zipper allowance side you can tape this down if you want okay and you match this make sure it's touching the waistline the two waistline are touching each other like this make sure they are kissing each other like this okay and then you use your marker to trace this out okay just make sure the waist are kissing each other make sure the two waist is kissing each other like this and then you're gonna mark out exactly the same shape you have okay so just trace everything out apart from the upside so just take note of how I'm tracing this okay and then the upper part also I'm gonna trace the ammo just a little bit this is just a guide to know where it's starting so i'm not going to be making use of it and here i'll just take this this is how deep i want my back panel to be so you can go deeper you can go deeper i'll just connect that to the straight line like this like this okay so the back is ready so if i should measure this now on the waist side you'll see that is exactly the same thing so let's do that and see my waist is 8.5 so this is 8.5 remember i added 1.5 for seam allowance so here it is is exactly the same thing okay so now i'm going to mark my dart four inches nipple to nipple measurement is four inches so i'm taking on four inches and i'll connect that straight down to the waist okay from the neckline down to the waist like this and in between there i'm going to mark 
it seems this line is not straight so i'm trying to make it straight okay so in between the line i'm going to mark my dart so i'll be taking one and half inch that divided by two is 0 0.75 okay so i'll be marking 0 0.75 on the both that side and i'll connect that straight upward okay like this like i said the that i use for the back is one and a half inch so i'll replace that one and a half inch this side also and then i'll connect it straight to the side seam like so like this and i am done with the back i'll just cut this out and we'll move ahead to cut the skirt side okay so i'll just quickly cut this out Okay, so I'm cutting out the dart and here the back panel is ready and the front panel. So now we are cutting the skirt. So my fabric is on fold. I folded this into two. The length for my gown is 40 inches, 40 minus um, 17, which is the half length. I will be having 23 inches left. So to that 23 inches, I'm going to add two inches, half inch for joining of the upper bodies to the skirt and one and a half inch for folding of the down part okay so that is what i'm marking here 25 inches 23 inches plus two inch for sewing allowance for allowance half inch for joining of the upper bodies to the skirt and one and a half inch for turning of the down part of the skirt and i'll be making use of that line where i marked as my waistline okay so I want to use the savage side as the down part. This side I'm touching as the down part. So I'm using that line as my waistline, right? So on that line, I'm going to mark my waist divided by um, four. My waist divided by four. Okay, first of all, sorry guys, I'm going to mark my hip line. <laughs> my hip line is 10 inches. So it ranges from 10, 9, 8 seven depending on your height so i'm on the tall side i'm on the tall side so i'm using 10 inches for my hip line so i'm trying to measure my what i have so you fold your fabric with your highest measurement your biggest measurement plus two inches for sewing allowance so if your hip is the biggest you fold with your hip divide by four plus two inches okay so that is what i'm trying to do here i'm cross checking the length also so the length is perfect so now i'm going to be marking my waist divide by four my waist divide by four is five point eight point five sorry plus one and a half inch for sewing allowance on the hip line i'm going to mark my hip divide by four minus one inch so my hip divide by four is eleven um uh, ten points ten point seven five yeah 10.75 so i'm going to minus one inch from that because this is a that less skirt so my front arc is going to be a bit smaller than my back arc okay so my hip is 43 43 divided by 4 is 10.75 and i'll be minusing one inch from that 10.75 so here i'm marking 9.75 now also mark 1.5 inches for my sewing allowance yeah and whatever i mark there i'm going to mark it down if you don't want yours to be pencil but if you want a pencil um gown you're going to take out like one or two inches from what you marked so i'm going to go back and take out one inch from what i marked so first of all i'm going to connect this with my hip curve my curve ruler like this okay and i'm going to take this down but before then i'm going to take out one inch from there i want it to be a little bit penciled okay so i'll be taking out one inch from that point like this so i'll just connect this down to the hemline like this and i'm done with my front 
panel skirt my front skirt okay as you can see it's very easy so now i'm going to cut this out ah i'm wasting a lot of fabric i did not measure this properly a lot of fabric is gonna go so i'm just going to cut this out like i said to fold is your biggest measurement if your hip is 40 fold with your hip 40 divided by um, 4 is 10 so fold with 10 plus 2 inches sewing allowance that's 12 so you'll be folding with 12 as you can see i'm wasting a lot of fabric because i'm actually in a hurry so i'm gonna fold another fabric into two like this to cut the back panel so i'll make sure this one i'm folding is three inches bigger than the front panel so if i folded the front panel 12 inches i'll be folding this 15 inches okay so you make sure that the back panel is three inches bigger than the front panel so i'm trying to measure it to be sure it's kind of bigger with three inches you can as well measure this so now i'm going to be marking three inches from this angle here like this three inches sorry i was marking two inches i'll go back and start marking three inches okay i was marking um two inches instead of three inches so here i'm marking my three inches and after marking the three inches i'm going to connect that with a straight line down next i'm going to bring the front panel and i'm going to place it exactly on that line that i marked on that three inches line so you make sure the down part is aligning with each other make sure the down part align with each other properly so i'm going to do that bring this down so that it will match with the back panel okay so the center front should be on that um, the center front should be placed on the line, the skirt center front. So on this hip line, I'm going to replace that one inch I marked, I minus from the front panel here like this. And I'll connect it to the waist with a curve like this. I'll connect it to the waist like this. Like this. Okay, and I'll also connect it from that point below the skirt the hip line like so okay so i'm replacing the one inch i cut out from the skirt from the front panel of the skirt hope this is clear enough okay so you replace the one inch and then you connect so i'm trying to make my line visible okay so now i'm going to mark my zipper allowance of 1.5 inch you can use one inch for your zipper allowance or your choice okay so i'm marking 1.5 inch following that shape for my zipper allowance like this so after this i'm going to connect all my points together like so following that curvy shape and voila the back panel is also ready so i'll be cutting this out the sides remains the same just the center back that i replaced the one inch i minus from the front panel and i'll be cutting this out like this So this skirt has no that is a dartless skirt and it fits very accurately well okay so it depends on what you want if you want to put that then no need of minusing anything from the waistline so you add your normal that i mean from the hip line and then you add your normal that so this side remains the same you're going to cut this side the same exactly the same just the center back that is different and we are done Thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be seeing you on the sewing tutorial the sewing part okay the next video i'll upload is going to be the sewing part please if you like this video if you enjoyed this video give us a like subscribe if you are new okay and share with friends and family thank you guys so much for your support thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you in the sewing i love you guys bye